And welcome everyone, Gabe the Izzard here. Today I am at the North Mountain in Phoenix, Arizona. I am at Mountain View Park. There is the North Mountain. I guess you could almost call it a range because there's there along with that. And then a, another little set right over here. I am walking a little bit here. I was going to show you something very interesting. A UFO crash site an actual authentic UFO crash site, but instead I'll show you these rabbits. Plenty, plenty of rabbits just right here. Anyway, at the dreamy draw section it's called dreamy draw it's like a park now but <clears throat> there was an actual ufo crash it landed there's two stories one is it crashed right there two men pulled alien bodies out of the ufo Others say it crashed there and then bounced and landed 10 miles north in Cave Creek. But then the Army Corps of Engineers came and covered up the UFO with a bunch of gravel and rocks and made a dam in a place that has no water. So. I didn't get to go there. there. It's under construction. And I'm not going to get to do what I thought I was going to do because this is a residential neighborhood and it is not a walking path. But I did want to show you someone that has some Alice Cooper money and that's that gentleman that lives right up there on top of that hill. Right there, he has a grand view of the North Mountain, the valley, and everything in between. Of course, the valley would be everything in between. There's lots of wildlife here. I am backtracking where I once came because there is no access here. It shows that there's paths, but there are none. Bummer. But today I am going to go to a museum, which I typically Try to do things that don't cost any money but this is a museum i've never been to it has uh, native american artifacts and art so i'm going to go that sign has really busted me out don't be a trailblazer okay then show me the trail anyway i'm gonna get all hot and sweaty and then I'm going to go to this museum and see what they offer. Go ahead! Tag along! This is a very nice park. A big green area with a covered playground. I 
I only came here because I wanted to get some sort of a vantage point. No, I would not climb all the way to the top of that mountain. That would be something that you'd have to do like early in the morning. Because it is getting warm already. It is well over 90 degrees at 9 o'clock in the morning. And I'm coming across a garden of some sort that has flowers, vegetables. Lizards. See now, is this a is this a path? You know, it shows that it says all these areas are closed, but then there's also paths. This has this looks like a pathway up here. Check it out. There is a walking path that starts right here. And I'm going to take it up. It shows that there's quite a few different ones. So, let's just see where this takes me. It doesn't take long before you get a little bit of elevation and uh, the view opens up, get above the trees. So, so we'll see how far I can make it. It really doesn't take long or much of an elevation to get a good vantage point. Out in the distance is downtown Phoenix and then South Mountain right behind it. I am what on the, what they call North Mountain, only because it probably is has these antennas and it's where they broadcast from the north. And it also doesn't take much to get the old heart pumping. It feels good though. Onward and upward. Here's the old fork in the road. It's like, uh, hey, up high or kind of flat and gradual. I'm going with flat and gradual because I believe it loops around and then I can just walk down the steeper part. But there's a uh, part of the city it's an amusement park right over there and then if you can notice way in the distance in Glendale that's where uh, the Cardinals play football and the Coyotes play hockey These people have bought some good property because they get a view on both sides of this ridge. And it's uh, facing east and west, so you get a nice sunrise and sunset. I am down here, look, you can see, this could be a UFO crash site as well. That is a man-made structure I'm, uh, my, my watch is saying, hey, you're exercising. Whoa. There's a strange looking 
thing going on over there. So that was uh, some uh, hobos had made an encampment under a little rock. That's what that was. And when I said uh, slight and gradual, I was sorely mistaken. This is steep. Extremely steep. My gimbal has overheated, but I'm still going to walk. Just might be at a little uh, of a cock. It is warm. My phone is extremely warm. But it looks as though. Well, I made it to the, as far as I'm going. I walked from down there, the rental, up along there right over here, up this, and this is the view. And then when you crest this, it comes to this side, which is a heavy residential area. So that's facing east and that's facing west. Take a break and head back. Boy, oh boy, what a walk. The last time we spoke, I was right there. Doesn't seem like it's that high. And I made my way down and across and then back down right over here, right past the garden. That was interesting. I got very hot. I carried water with me, plenty of water. I even had some food with me. But that beating sun really takes a lot out of you. I was nowhere near fainting. I was nowhere near dehydration. But it was, it was uh, pretty interesting. I never had blurred vision, but it was a little spooky. It was like, okay, if I stay out here too much longer, it could get spooky. And I think about people that even go higher. I mean, like I didn't even go all the way up the mountain. I'm just right here. I mean, they, you could walk all the way to the top. But that, that last little push was basically straight up. It was... It was cool it was cool so what I think I'm gonna do is do this as its own video because it's so time-consuming and then I will link to the video that I do at the museum of my my travels today the herd museum and uh, sprinkle in a couple of extra little things and also at the end of the week I'm gonna be doing where I ate this week and the different restaurants that I go to or am going to or I will go to. Maybe the heat did get to the old melon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for tagging along. Thanks for watching and I will see you a little bit later today.
Wednesday, 95 degrees outside. That's it. Thank you for watching. There's the rental. Point to note, I am sitting in the car with some AC on. I would have filmed walking down, but my phone overheated, so I had no phone. Thanks for watching.